you've been quite forceful this morning about uh, your lack of trust in both the Prime Minister. And now recently, uh, you don't seem to be very pleased with the appointment of Ms. Freeland as Prime Minister. I don't understand why your government does not just come forward in the House of Commons, a place that your party has fought very strongly recently to be able to go into and vote against the government and attempt to bring them down. Why do you still not just say, OK, we're going for it? We uh, are going to use our strengthened numbers and increased powers in, in, in this minority parliament to expose the truth and hold the government accountable for Trudeau's corruption and chaos. We are going to do what Canadians elected us to do, and that is to perform the function of a strong opposition. That was what we were elected to do. And until there's uh, further notice, that is what we will continue to do. But if there's corruption and chaos, does that not put upon you an obligation as your as the opposition to bring or at least to attempt to bring the government down? You raise a very interesting question. Um, at some point in the future, uh, that decision will have to be made. Right now, our focus is doing exactly what Canadians elected us to do, to use our strengthened numbers to hold the government accountable, expose the full truth in Trudeau's We Scandal, so that everyday Canadians know exactly what this Prime Minister has done and allow them to render judgment at the appropriate time. David Thurton, CBC News. Um, I would imagine one of the first things that Freeland is going to have to do is prepare a budget or a fiscal update, and she would need the support of the parties in the House to, to pass that budget. First of all, what's a budget? There's no such thing as a budget in this government. They haven't had a budget in oh, over a year. They don't even know what a budget is, let alone preparing a budget. Uh, they, we have right now a deficit that is seven times bigger than the previous record, and the Liberals want to spend even more. Uh, we have a, a Prime Minister and a Cabinet that is golf, engulfed in a massive corruption scandal, which they are attempting to cover up. We have a Prime Minister who gave a half a billion dollars to a group that had given his family half a million dollars. They don't even know what day it is, let alone how to present a budget. So what do you need to see in that budget for, 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 for it to have your support? I'm not aware of any budget. <laughs> there hasn't been, I mean, there hasn't been a budget in over a year. When, why, would there, why would they, in the middle of August, decide they're going to introduce a budget? Okay. I have another question from one of my colleagues. Um, it's about the Governor General. The Governor, Governor General is now facing more claims. This time, her disdain for police is driving up costs. Julie Payette is one of Justin Trudeau's signature appointments. What does this say about Justin Trudeau's judgment, and what should Trudeau do about the situation now? I would just say, generally speaking, um, we have a government of elites and self-serving um, snobs who look down on ordinary working class Canadians. I'm not sure if that's true of the Governor General, but it's certainly true of the people around the Prime Minister. They think they're better than everyday Canadians. They think they can turn their nose up at the people. And they believe that they have a God given entitlement to rule over the country and use the Treasury as their personal piggy bank. Uh, that is the attitude of entitlement that we have come to expect from Trudeau and everyone he has put in positions of power. But does no, her no. say anything about this? Uh, yeah, I think my, my previous answer addresses that. I, Prime Minister's got terrible judgment. There's no doubt about it. He's more interested in... Um, elevating himself to dynastic leader rather than and and to enriching the people uh, in his court than he is to advancing the interests of ordinary hardworking people the people who pay the bills in this country